Yo, this is Eternal Place. Pokemon, let's go, Eevee. We have beat them all. Every single one of those gym leaders have been beaten again and again and again. Yay! Even Blue, the new gym leader of Viridian City, fell to us. So what now? What is there to do? Of course, there's a lot of stuff to do. Do you remember when we became the champion and we went back to town and our rival says, you know what? There's something going on in the Cerulean Cave! Oh my god, what can it be? What can it be? What do you think, Eevee? Yeah, Eevee knows something is up. So Eevee, let's return to the Cerulean Cave. Because there's a powerful Pokémon in there. And... Perhaps a bit... More. <laughs> so yeah, let's head over to the Cerulean Cave right away. We already were there uh, two episodes ago when we are doing a bit of leveling, and you can see my levels have spiked since last. 70, 72, 74, 72, 72, 73, 83. So we are pretty high levels, and we want to stick to high levels a bit as well, because the last battle we will do in this Let's Play will have Pokémon around level 76 up to 80, so... We want to make sure we're ready for those. We might have had an easy time against Erika and Blue last time, Especially Erica with like 16 levels behind us, but that's fine. Now, before you want to go here, make sure you have a lot of Ultra Balls. Plenty, plenty of Ultra Balls. This is important because, well, there is a legendary Pokemon we haven't captured yet, and this one will be even tougher to capture than Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. You do want to have make sure you have enough Pokeballs to get it. Go to the Pokemart and buy plenty of Ultra Balls. If you also have your Master Ball available, you can also use that. And yes, there is a very extremely small chance. Like, you probably shouldn't haunt, try to farm for it. Try if you're crazy enough, but there's a small chance you also can get yourself another Master Ball inside the Cerulean Cave. But the chances are that it's going to be that rare that you probably can get Pokemon level 100 by farming chances before you even see a Master Ball in the wild. But yeah, Master Balls can also be found in the Cerulean Cave. Just don't, you know, try too hard for it, because you'll be disappointed in yourself. You'll probably lose interest in the game, and yeah. If you really are an O-lifer and like, yeah, I must have it, because, uh collections, uh must have, then, uh, make sure to go for it. Eevee tries to surprise me. But you can't fly, Eevee. Charizard can't fly. Mmm. Hey Charizard, move your body and fly me up here. Much better. Bit of a lazy way instead of having going around and surf. But that's fine. Okay. So we will go back inside the Cerulean Cave, or should we say the Challenger Cave as well, which is also its name. Cerulean Cave, Challenger Cave. It's an interesting place. Tough Pokemon. And uh, some hard Pokemon to find. Uh, you can even get a Snorlax in here. Yeah, Snorlax is even found in the wild in here. So if you did screw up your chance to get Snorlax, even though you can get it multiple times, uh, just by just trying to capture it in um, outside of Seldon City or Vermilion City, then you can still go here and you can get more of them. So if you want to get some more candy or more of their own, maybe get some big ones. Look at that. There's a Chansey there. This one is a very, very small one. Yeah, blue is small. Let's see if we can get lucky this time. I mean, they, they already broke in my bonus, I guess, for catching. Yeah, this one is a bit tougher. Now, here's a little interesting thing. This can be a bit hard to capture, right, with this? But if you do bring... Oh! Damn! Meh. Okay, hold on guys, I need to get back up! There we go. Yeah, we need backup. What do you mean by that? Well, let's... Oh! A Snorlax! Hello, Snorlax! Wanna join me? Hmm? Oh, wow, he just did it to squash that Pokeball. 
<laughs> Did I just fling that Pokeball in his face? Uh, I hope he didn't get hurt, Snorlax. Yeah, so he didn't get captured, that's a shame. But, shake your secondary Joy-Con and BOOM! Two players! And what happened now? Do like this. Oh boy! Excellent throw! Mm-mm, now we're talking. One, two. Ah, uh, it's still pretty hard. I mean, it's a bit easier, it's still a bit challenging. So you still probably want to use like a Golden Raspberry or something else to make the Pokémon a bit easier to capture. This is in the red zone, so that's probably why. Let's try again. Let's try again. Both, both, both. And... Oh! Oh, wow! We just hit... The wow, that's a tough one. There we go! A great throw with two Pokéballs. Let's see if this one will make a difference. One, two... Still a bit hard. At least this one is not as movie as the other ones, the chance. Okay, excellent throw now with two Pokeballs. Or two throws at least. One, two, three, and nope. Let's try again. Great throw. Yeah, so you can just have, you know, both Joy-Cons in one hand or one in each hand and just throw them at the same time, same direction. And then you can get a double throw. You get synchronization bonus for more XP. Plus it also gives you a bit increased chance to capture Pokemon as long as you have two Joy-Cons. It's still not guaranteed though. As you can see, this Snorlax kicks out. Like again. But we can keep trying. Come on, Snorlax. Stop moving. You are uh, your wobbly belly. There we go. Excellent throw. Two becomes one. Can this be enough though? One. Two. Three. Ah! Oops. I think three is a bit too common with this one. Yeah, great throw. Let's see if this one helps. Them. One, two, three. Ta-da! We captured a wild Snorlax in the Cerulean Cave, which is pretty cool. XP wise, one thousand seven. That's uh, that's okay. I mean, no level up, but chance it will have given me even more XP. That's why I will try to capture it. At least we got ourselves another Snorlax, though. Now, as I would see here, boom! Yeah, we're two-player. This game actually does have support for two-player. Now, I'm controlling both players with uh, two Joy-Cons. You can only encounter Pokémon with your main account, main character, though. So your secondary character will not be able to punch Pokémon. We can like this and like, woo! I'm just harassing that Golbat. Just scaring it off. But yeah, this is one of the ways I did to level up my my Pokémon. I used two players. You just need to run into the chance with your main player and then have the secondary player just helping out with the capturing in order to win. Can we get a, can we try that actually? Let's see. Can we get a chancey here before we continue? Um, please? Maybe get something else. I mean, yeah, we do a Snorlax. Snorlax is pretty rare. Oh, here is a chancey. Come here. Let's see if we get a Chansey now. Because Chansey likes to jump around, so I guess that's not what you can do about it. Let's give Chansey an Anabar so it can stay still. There we go. Boom! Excellent throw. Let's see if we get... we we'll get the first hit now. One. Two. Three. Yeah! There we go. Now let's see the XP we get now from an excellent first throw on Chansey. Check the XP. 7,000! Yeah! Now we're, now we're talking. And guess what, guys? Between the two last episodes, I got 16,000 in one because I had an excellent throw and I had like 15 or 16 in catch combos. So, yeah. Catch combos and this. And look at all the candies we get. That's a nice way to increase our max HP. And boom. Three Pokemon. No, four Pokemon goes up in level. I got Hitmonlee to 73. Pikachu 75. Charizard is 73. And Venus over 73. And Blastoise is almost 74, and Raichu is almost 84. This is the best way to level in this game. Find the chances. Sp try at least if you get them in these, if they're small or large. And then when you get them, you try your best to uh, to capture them in the first try with an excellent throw. And look at that XP gum, and you will level up in no time. If you don't want like to have the, joy the other character with you though, like you don't want to control two characters anymore, just take your secondary Joy-Con and just shake it, and the trainer goes off. It's just very simple. So this is a nice way for us to get some good XP. We got ourselves a Snorlax, we got a lot of XP with um, 
a lot of XP with uh, Chansey. But now let's continue on to progressing in here because there's a lot of things we're gonna do in here. We need to go and find some items. And what is that Pokemon everyone talking about that's in the end of this place? We have to find out. So we go up here, try to go through these ladders, try to find out which hole we can go past. There's another hole that goes further down, maybe it's this one. What's up, Eevee? He fits in the air and seems a bit afraid. Yeah. Remember last time Eevee had this tension in the air? Yep, that's when we fought a legendary Pokemon. Could there be one nearby? Could there be? Is it possible? I think it is, guys. Something is here. But what? Or why? And whom? Escape rope. Very useful to have in this place because if you don't want to be in here anymore, use escape rope and you go back to the entrance. Right away, so you can go do something else, even though it's not much else we can do. But we still have some more trainers to fight, and we have massive trainers to go through as well. There's something in this light here. Oh, look at that, that's a large gold duck. I don't think we need these gold ducks, that's fine. Max elixir, which is always useful. Every single move on one of your Pokemon restored to max. That's exactly what you want. Especially when you've been fighting so long and you don't have enough way to restore your elixirs or powers. I think we have hit the jackpot, guys. Look who it is. It's Mewtwo! Yep. Mew freaking 2. We're gonna fight this one right now. Make sure we have strong Pokemon and for sure don't use Hitmonlee. I mean, come on, Hitmonlee is a bad choice here. Because Hitmonlee is a fighting type, he will get melted by the psychic type here. So we need to use something else. Uh, we can probably start with Eevee. Eevee to put up a paralyzing effect, and then we can go with from there. When you're ready, guys, save your game. But of course, if you do fail to capture Mewtwo, don't worry. You can get a second try. If you beat the Pokemon League in Elite Four again, Mewtwo will reappear. But for now, here we go! Mew. Two. This one has to show us. The mightiest Pokemon in Generation 1 is Mewtwo, one of the most powerful Pokemon still today. Not the most powerful anymore, that's one been replaced by Rayquaza, but still tough enough. It's level 70 as well, very high level wild. Let's go Buzzy Buzz first. Mewtwo is quicker than us, we'll use Amnesia, which means Mewtwo's special defense will go up by two levels, making it a lot harder to beat with special attacks. Buzzy Buzz comes and does very little damage, but we get a paralyzing effect. That's exactly what we need to. After that, I guess this is slide is what we have to do because we can't really use any special attacks on Mewtwo. It's just too powerful against these effects. Mewtwo is paralyzed, so use whatever you can to deal as much physical damage as you can to Mewtwo. That's the best way to take Mewtwo on after the Amnesia is used. Here comes Psychic. This will hurt. Ow, ow, ow! That did more than half of Eevee's damage in one turn. And Eevee has a 5 level advantage. Of course, Eevee's a bit low in stats now at high level, that's probably why. Psychic again, and that probably should be enough. Yeah, Eevee guns away. That's unfortunate. Of course, we need to do the next Pokemon. We all have a time for here. No time to waste. Let's keep on doing this. I know this is going to be a suicide move, but I, we have to do it like this. Hitmonlee. You will probably get one hit KO'd by Mewtwo. Let's see if you're faster than Mewtwo so you can use your Mega Kick. Let's try at least. Yeah, we get the first. No, we missed! Oh, damn it! Yeah, we're done. Bye! One hit KO on Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee, you shouldn't have failed me there. Come on, I need your power. Oh boy. Charizard. You will do it. I mean, yeah, we have a high special defense on Mewtwo, but we can go through this, can't we? Of course we can. How about you flamethrower this one? Don't throw reduced. That was pretty okay. Psychic used on Charizard. Ow, 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 ow. 
That hurts! But come on. We just need to get him down to no 0 HP. Just kill him and Mewtwo will be gone. Go for the Psychic from Mewtwo. And Charizard goes down too. That's 3 down. But we still have some Ace in our hole. So we still have my one I'll use right now. Right. Right, choose a Psychic type as well, so it doesn't really take a lot of damage from Mewtwo's Psychic. But even though it's a bit of a frail one, it's not as tanky. But 13 levels ahead, that should be enough to Thunderbolt this one down. Let's hope for it. Come on, Thunderbolt! And that's enough. Mewtwo is beaten. Now it's capture time! Here's Mewtwo. And we need help. Come and help us, friend. So we will try to capture Mewtwo as much as we can. But if we do go out of time, I will use the Master Ball because there's no one other Pokemon here to use the Master Ball on. We want to try without it because that's the coolest part. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, we miss. Let's try again. We miss again. Come on. There we go. We got a hit. Will this be enough though or will Mewtwo just say, screw you? One. Two. No. Mewtwo says... I am not going to be captured by the likes of you. I am more powerful than you think. Screw you. Well, that's fine. Try again. Oh, he dodged it. Again. Get a hit. Can this be it? Will Mewtwo fall? One. Two. Three. Oh, that was almost. Mewtwo is so powerful. He doesn't care. Well, we can use all the berries we can. This is the time to use all you have in your arsenal in terms of berries and things. The golden nana berry, that means probably means that Mewtwo will now stand still and not be able to move much. Will he be able to go through the capture method though? Two, three, no. Mewtwo says, I am more powerful than you think. I don't get captured by likes of you. Ha, huh. you're weak. You're not worth my time. We will try them. Great throw. Could wait a bit more, but I don't want in case he starts to jump around and being crazy again. One, two, three. No! Mewtwo refuses to be captured. You know what happened to Mewtwo in the first Pokemon movie, didn't we? Yeah. Mewtwo says, I am no one's slave. You will not put me into slavery. I'll put you to slavery. One, two. No! I refuse. Fine. Keep doing this. We can do it. We have unlimited time to capture. As long as you just beat him, you can waste all you can to get him captured. One, two, three. No, that was close. Close, 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 close. Fine. You want to play him, you two? Let's play. Double throw. Ah, that one was a, that was in the middle, but okay. Guess we didn't get in the middle. One, two, three, and no! Mewtwo says, you need to do more than that, fool. Well, you wanna be the fool. You're the fool. How about this? Excellent throw, right in the middle. Will it be enough though? One, two, three. No, of course. Mewtwo is like playing with us, like, huh. You think I actually want to get captured? <laughs> You're funny. Very, very funny. It's like, like I care about you. Okay. We try again. Ultra Ball attempts keep on coming. Now it's going to go at the one. Okay, Mewtwo. You want to be annoying? You want to dodge my Pokeballs and everything? Fine. There's not an enemy berry for you. Eat and get stuffed. Excellent throw. You can't be here forever, can't you? Can you? Okay, you can. Okay, I'll give this a few more tries and then the Master Ball will be used. We have the Master Ball for a reason and I will use it if we don't get it soon. Let's see if the Golden Peanut Berry will maybe you do the difference then. Here we go. Oh, that was a miss. Oh wow! He dodged it. There we go. Great throw. With a golden pineapple berry, will that be the thing though? With a one and a two. 
and no. Okay, I'll do one more chant with the Golden Pineapple Berry. If we don't get it, guys, it's Master Ball time. There we go. There we go. We're through. Will we get it? Will there be the Master Ball that will decide it? You can't get it without the Master Ball. I'm just gonna try it. Nope. Fine. Mewtwo. I concede. I concede. Of course. I have to make sure that we can capture this one. Silver Nana Berry is used. I don't want to miss with the old ma Master Ball, though. That would have been a shame. Oh, never mind, Master Ball says. I'm not gonna care. Ha! Dodge that one, Mewtwo. You cannot win. Because I win. Master Ball's use, guys. This was a pretty cool animation, though. And Mewtwo is ours. But no. You can get him with Ultra Ball 2. It's not like you need to use the Master Ball. I just did it because this is the only Pokemon that really matters anymore. Now we have them all. Sort of. Why should go to level 84 as well, just to say, you did it. You did it. Alright. Mewtwo has joined the party. Now I'll let's check the data of Mewtwo, the strongest Pokemon in Kanto. A little bit smaller than regular Mewtwo. His DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and disposition are vastly different. Okay. What do you think, uh, Eevee? Eevee's awestruck. Yeah, I can't believe it either. We had just the Master Ball, though. I was hoping to do it without it. But that's fine. Okay, we are running out of time, so it's time to escape rope. We got Mewtwo, it's time to leave this place. It was a nice, nice, nice battle though. Hey, Zitano! Oh, wait, don't tell me! You already caught that super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it! So, it's called Mewtwo, huh? Man, you got to Mewtwo before me or that girl. Girl? Uh, oh, I ran into this gutsy girl who said you're looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mew too. Well, I guess that's that. Here, take these. I won't need them now. Three escape ropes from Bob. That's pretty nice. I just saw a girl come in here, too. She still must be looking for Mew too. You should go show it to her. Yep, we have to go inside the cave again, guys, because the girl, probably Green, which is the Blaine who talked about, is now where Mewtwo was. We ought to go to her, show her off to Mewtwo, and then we'll take it from there. So next episode, we return to the Cave to find this girl Bob was talking about. What does this mean? What, what does she want? Is this something related to Mewtwo? Something related to adventure? We'll find out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and that's good for now. I'll see you guys next time with my adventures in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee!